uh, this is a question from uh, just 2021 uh, from the concept of vectors. So let us understand the question first. So a paper has been cut in this form, like we do crafts with the papers. So this is a square, which is A, B, C, D. This is a square. And these two are hexagonal flaps, okay? So they are cut. And then if you have done uh, such crafts in your childhood, if you lift this, right now they are in the plane of the board. So if you lift it, this A and F will come and it will be joined. So this will become a single line, okay? So if you lift it, then it will come like this and it will be joined. And they have asked about that angle, which that AF and AE, once they are combined like this, they will make. So that angle we have to calculate. So actually, uh, we will just follow whatever they have done, what whatever they have said in the question, and uh, just uh, use the basic concept of vectors. Let us see how. So if I take this uh, vector as suppose uh, this is I cap and this is J cap. So let me take uh, this as a vector I cap and uh, this vector as J cap on the plane of the board. And let me take this length as unity. So that's why this uh, a B vector, A B vector is just I cap vector with magnitude is equal to one and A D vector is also a unit vector with magnitude J cap, right? And now if I do A cross J, I will get K. So that means our, uh, you know, Cartesian system is followed. So I cross J vector is K cap vector, okay? So now this AF vector that you have to imagine a little bit, once it is lifted like this, the, the chalk you can see, it is suppose making angle theta. So I can take the AF vector as, or AE, AF and AE will be same vectors, right? AF and AE, they will be same vector. Once lifted, they will be combined. It is suppose X, I cap plus Y, J cap plus Z, K cap, and because this is unity, uh, this, uh, this is the side of the hexagon. So this is also unity. So that means modulus of AF vector will be equal to one. This is uh, that we know for sure. And that means uh, X square plus Y square plus Z square will be equal to one, okay? Because this is also a unit vector. Now, if AF vector is lifted like this, I can, I have resolved it like this. So I can take this uh, dot product of AF with AD and AF with AB. So the first thing is that AF dot AD vector will be given by modulus of AF, which is one, modulus of AD, which is one into cos, so 1 into 1 into cos of uh, 120, right? And uh, this is equal to, so take uh, AF vector dot AD vector. So this will be just Y. Can you see that? This will be just Y. This dot AF dot AD will be Y. And then AF dot AB. AF dot a B vector. This will be also one into one. And uh, again, uh, this vector is making angle 120. So it will be cos of 120 degree. And this is equal to, so this is equal to minus half. And this will be equal to, so you see A B dot this will give you, uh, this is A B and this is A F. So this dot this vector will give you x. So x will be also equal to minus half. And if I substitute this here, what I'm going to get is that 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus z square is equal to 1. So that means z is equal to 1 by root 2. 
right? So Z is one by root two. So if AF vector is like this, so I am making it like this. Suppose this is AF vector with the plane, it is making angle theta. So perpendicular for sure, the perpendicular component we have. So this vector is one, and the perpendicular component is one by root two. Okay. So now if I take uh, sine of theta, that is perpendicular upon hypotenuse, we are going to get one by root two. So that's why theta is equal to 45 degree. Okay. So this question, uh, first of all, when you will read it, it will look little impossible, but whatever they are saying, just you have to start using that. So once you start making, uh, and whenever angle is asked, whenever you require angle, you should take dot product. This thing you should keep in your mind. Okay. So this question, I have seen that just uh, you, dot product ka use karke, I have angle out angle, components out and then finally the angle made by the vector with the plane I have calculated. Okay. Thank you.